Hi guys and welcome back to another Tech Core Duo video. For today, we've got a quick tutorial on how to change the uh, folder icon or file icon uh, in Mac OS Sierra. Uh, so the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is download some .png icon files. Uh, you can get them from Google just by doing a Google search for something like fun folder icons, and then you'll you know you'll get a bunch of results, and you can just uh, drag and drop them to your desktop or copy them from somewhere else. All right, once you have them on your desktop, you can double click on one of them. And what you'll do is, once it opens up in preview, and that's an important part of it, it has to be in preview, uh, using your keyboard, you press Command A, okay? And you get this bounding box around it. And then from there, you just wanna drag the bounding box. Oops. So you wanna make sure you're dragging the bounding box and not the actual window. Okay, and you'll get that bounding box to right around the uh, folder dimensions. Once you have it or, uh, kind of uh, highlighting just the area that you want, you would press Command C to copy, and you can close out of that. And then uh, choose the folder that you want by clicking on it once, and then press Command I on the keyboard. Okay, once you have that, you can click on the little icon on the top left of this info window. And then we'll also, once again, use the keyboard to press Command V. And there you go. You've got uh, our cool little action kind of folder with uh, James Bond on it. We'll do it once again with another Apple kind of uh, icon. We'll do the same thing with the keyboard, Command A. All right, and then we'll get that bounding box to right where we want it, just a little bit higher. And bring this one a little bit lower. Perfect. And now we'll hit Command C. We'll close this window. Click on the folder that we want. And then using the keyboard, Command I. Click on the little icon on the top left. And once again, Command V. Simple as that. All right, I'll do it one last time, but this time we'll use the menu options instead of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, so let's get this third icon here. And we'll do Edit from Preview. We'll do select all. Same thing, we'll drag the bounding box just to get it right where we want it. This one's actually pretty good, but I'm just gonna tighten that up just a little more so that I have the area that I want exactly. All right, then we'll go to edit and copy. Let's close this window. Okay, and we'll click on our folder here. Uh, then we use two fingers on the trackpad to do a secondary click or use control click on the keyboard. Okay, and then once you have that up, you'll press get info. All right, and then same follows. We'll click on the little blue icon in the top left, edit from the menu and paste. And there you go guys, simple as that. You have just uh, created three custom icons for three custom folders. And this way you can kind of better organize your stuff and you know use you know color coordination or you know just custom little, little images to make the folders more visible and easier to access. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.